This scamming has to stop. What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today I am revisiting the topic that I made a video about about a week ago regarding that resealed Legend of Blue Eyes booster box. If you guys did not see the video, I made a video about a resealed Legend of Blue Eyes booster box that my viewer Jose S sent me to open up for him. So we opened it up on camera and it did happen to be resealed. The issue was he bought this from a very large consignment seller on eBay known as Probstein123. He had purchased the box about a month or two, I don't remember the exact timeline, before he realized it was resealed. He actually bought the box, put it into his collection, and then he was going to sell it a couple of months later, or someone was looking at pictures or something like that, and they said, hey, that looks a little bit sketchy, and he realized, yeah, it does look a little bit sketchy. So he first contacted the seller and said, hey, I, I think this might be resealed, and he never got a reply, which is kind of an issue when you might have a resealed product. However, I do understand that if you do sell something, and maybe two months later, somebody messages you and says, Says, hey it's resealed and you might be like hmm that's a little bit suspicious because it's two months later and you didn't say anything originally so Jose S wanted to be sure because he's not getting an answer from the seller let's find out is it resealed if it's not we'll just open it up so he sent it to me and I was like sure I'll open it up I'll check it out we looked at it it actually looked kind of good from what it looked at so we opened it up and then it was resealed inside was a bunch of taped up old booster packs some new cards a bunch of stuff like that you guys can go watch the video if you want to see what actually happened so we realized it was officially resealed so I said go message him and tell him you know send him the link of the video that it definitely was resealed. However, you might think, well, who is Jose Yes? Maybe Jose Yes is just a guy. He resealed it himself. Maybe he bought the box and then switched with a resealed box, which is a fair argument. However, Probe Scene did have an issue with open boosters, and I mentioned that in the last video. Open boosters bought a beta starter from them, and they open it up, and they use the mapping, which you can do in Magic the Gathering, to tell what common you're supposed to get after a certain other common, and they realized it was a hodgepodge starter, aka someone had put it together and resealed it. If you do want to watch that video, I will also link that video in the description so you guys can see a little bit more evidence of some sketchy stuff that Probstein has sold. It is possible that Probstein didn't have any knowledge of these reseals, but they're actively selling these things and ignoring messages from people that are saying, hey, I think this might be resealed because I know Open Boosters had issues messaging him. Jose S was unable to contact him. And now we have a new incident. So after I made that video last week, a viewer actually went and checked out a lot of their listings and hit me up with a message saying, hey, they have another box that I think might be resealed on their eBay page. So I'm gonna go check this out right now. And from what I saw originally, it did look fairly sketchy. So as you guys can see here, this is Probstein. They have a lot of followers. They have a lot of feedback, which is why it's a little bit scary because someone who sees that feedback and that percentage is pretty good, 99.6. They've got a ton of feedback. They've done a lot of stuff. They might think everything's gonna be fine no matter what, which I'm not saying, first of all, that Probstein is scamming a bunch of people. But I do want to call out the fact that they have a Metal Raiders box on here right now. And this is what I'm most worried about. I don't want any one of my viewers to go buy this box. There's only one picture. So whether or not they intentionally are selling these resale boxes, or maybe they're consigning them for someone who is resealing them, there needs to be more than one picture of the box when you're selling something like this, especially when there have been a couple of resealed items brought to your attention recently. So if you look here, you guys see this right in the middle, right above Yugi's point of his hair. There's that bend right there, which looks like maybe the box has been opened before. You look around, it does see, you see how it's a little bit, uh, it's not completely flat. It looks like it might be bulging out a little bit, kind of like the LOB box that we opened. And then the seal, the line seal down there, it looks very similar. We can't see much from this one picture, which is why only having one picture is sort of an issue. The viewer that sent me this said he actually messaged Probe Steam and said, hey, can I get some more pictures of this box? and they said we're very busy we'll get back to you when we can there's only a day and six hours left in this auction so when are you going to get back you know you need to get back ASAP with pictures if they're going to actually bid on them and the fact that they can't get back to with pictures I mean I think they should just have multiple pictures on the listing it just makes more sense and just from this one picture it does appear to be possibly an open box or a resale box also, another thing to mention, the title of this is 1996. It came out in 2002. It just seems like maybe they don't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, is that, that's possible. 1996 is something you see on Facebook Marketplace when someone is selling their Yu-Gi-Oh! cards they just unearthed from 20 years ago, and they just look up Yu-Gi-Oh! and they see it came out in 1996. So they put 1996, and they don't realize that the English actually came out in 2002. Metal Raiders first edition was 2002. So I don't know why they put 1996 on here. It definitely kind of raises a red flag that such a big auction site would have an incorrect date on it. I don't, I don't know. And also we have actively accepting consignment. It seems like they might be not vetting their consignments 
enough. Either that or they are actively doing this on purpose, which I'm not stating at all. But then they also do not accept return. All sales are final. So it seems like this line is maybe why Jose S is not getting a reply. Probstein does not accept returns. It doesn't matter if it's resealed. They sold you a hodgepodge fake starter deck. They're not dealing with it. Just not really a good thing for a seller to do. But as a seller, it is very difficult to deal with people constantly asking for returns and claiming things that are not true. So I understand why people say we don't accept returns because they don't want to deal with it. But as a seller, you kind of have to accept returns. There are times where you're just going to have to accept the return, refund, and block. That's just how it goes. Trying to not accept returns at all is just going to give you a lot more issues than accepting them. So I think that's a little bit sketchy as well. So I made this video just to update, first of all, Jose asked the situation because a lot of people asked. Secondly, I think Probstein just needs to be avoided when you're buying vintage Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. I don't know about other situations. Maybe if you buy single cards, it's fine. But if you see a box that looks like something like they're selling here with the Metal Raiders box or the Legend of Blue Eyes box that I opened or even Magic cards apparently can even be resealed. Three instances in less than a year of resealed we're talking thousands of dollar products, is something that I would say avoid. This is important to remember whenever you're buying from anyone. Feedback numbers alone won't tell you how your transaction is going to go. I don't know for a fact that this box is resealed. We thought the sold the duels box the other day was resealed and it wasn't. So it's possible that it's not. However, a viewer brought this to my attention and honestly, it does look a little bit sketchy. And since this box is ending today, at the time of recording, this is a day left. But by the time you guys see this, there will be like 12 hours left or eight hours or 10 hours, something like that. So I would recommend, if you were looking at bidding in this, I would recommend avoiding it and possibly Probstein in general until we hear some sort of reply from them, you know, maybe an explanation, maybe a refund, something like that, because not refunding the resale box. I understand that it was a while later for Jose S, but now they're selling another one. It doesn't sound like an awesome customer service experience either. So I would recommend to my viewers, if you're looking at buying a legit vintage Yu-Gi-Oh box, maybe look elsewhere and avoid this one. This was a shorter video today, but I think that I really need to bring this up so that my viewers don't end up getting scammed again because Jose S already got scammed, basically. I mean, we know that he did get scammed. Whether or not it was Probstein themselves or someone they're selling for, he got scammed. And the only thing I can do to help stop that is make this video and hopefully you guys will not bid on sketchy box listings like this. And if you can't get another picture, that's probably a red flag. Whether or not they're busy or not, they do sell a lot, so they might actually be busy. But either way, if you can't ever get a picture that makes you certain that it's real, avoid it. If you're just 10% sure it might be resealed, avoid it. Because that 10%, if it happens, is gonna be a real bummer. And if you can't get your money back, which there's a chance you might not, it's not worth that 90%, you know, it's gonna be great, but 10% it's not, it's not worth it. Hope you guys are able to avoid any sort of scams or reseals in the future because that is something that we really have to worry about when collecting sealed products. And I'm even more worried about it recently with the LOB box looking legit, the SOD looking not legit. It was the opposite. Always try to double and triple check where you can when buying these sealed booster boxes. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko for supporting the channel. And that's it for this video, guys. I will see you later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!